The federal government has blamed a shortage of gas supply for its inability to meet the target of 5,000 megawatts of electricity generation. At the conclusion of the Federal Executive Council FEC meeting on Wednesday at the presidential villa in Abuja, Minister of Power Abubakar Aliu stated that despite the government's contract with the Nigerian Bulk Electricity Trading NBET PLC, Aliu regretted that power generation had remained at 4,000 megawatts because of gas shortages. As his ministry works around the clock to improve the situation, he stated that necessary ingredients has been obtained to resolve the problem. The minister added that the revised estimates for the updated rates of building structures for compensation and resettlement of the communities impacted by the construction of the 700 megawatt Zungero hydroelectric power projects were approved by the council at 2.74 billion naira. President Muhammadu Buhari has appointed Mohamed Bello as the new head of the Revenue Mobility Allocation and Fiscal Commission, RMAFC. The ceremony was held on Wednesday in Abuja prior to the start of the Federal Executive Council meeting. After the ceremony, Bello told reporters that the commission would help President Buhari's administration generate more revenue and stop leakages. Bello also stated that the revenue allocation formula has not been changed for around 29 years and that the Constitution allows for a review of it after five years while taking into account the country's circumstances in light of the creation of more states. Pensioners under the Defined Pension Benefit Scheme have condemned what they call a woeful disparity in payment of their monthly pension benefits implied by the Pension Transitional Arrangement Directorate, PTAD. The pensioners complained that the current payment scale used by PTAD for the monthly benefits is significantly lower than what is listed in the table of consequential adjustments to pensions resulting from the implementation of the national minimum wage. The group added that the correct table was drawn by the Wages and Salaries Commission and was attached to a previous circular dated April 28, 2021, sent to their pensioners group by the Commission on Approval of Parity in Pension.